Hello and welcome everyone. In the previous video we learned about how to build nested blocks using inner block component and in this video we're going to learn about how to set up the style lint config for linting our styles. So there are some of the packages we need to install and that would be style lint. Let's do that. I'm going to stop it. Say npm install style lint then style lint config wordpress style lint webpack plugin and that's it dash d right so by this by the time this gets installed uh, we also want to go ahead and add the configuration so don't worry about it you will have all of the code available in the github repository and i'm just going to create this configuration file so I'm gonna to go to the assets directory let me close all of this go to assets directory dot style lint rc dot json inside of this I can put that now if you check the style lit config WordPress on the NPM you will notice that it says you can add this configuration to your style lint RC file and then you can put like it extends okay on top all right and then it asks you to put all these rules I have added my own you can add your own if you want or you can use the same configuration files complete up to you okay so now we need to add the linting into our script so I'm going to go ahead and go to the I'm going to go to the package.json which is here and then I'm going to add these linting ones so I will say lint oops lint css and then this should be style lint oops style lint source sauce all the files inside of sauce that ends with dot scss okay and then we can also fix some of these styles using the lint css fix so we can add this custom um, script and then this is going to be npm run lint css but with a flag of fix okay oh I missed the quotes so we'll do npm run lint css in the assets directory and you can see that it started linting we've got so many errors don't we right the good part is that some of it we can fix it using the lint css fix command so let's do that lint css fix npm run lint css fix now you can see that it has fixed some of it at least and then you can fix the rest of them as well yourself right perfect so I'm not gonna keep you holding for fixing these I'll fix it myself and then push the code and I can also do like pre commit so I can create a custom script for that so what this will do is this is going to ensure that before we are committing our code and pushing it to github whether it's for contribution or for development we are going to run the lint fix npm run lint css fix then and you can set you know run multiple commands one after the other by using and npm run lint fix and npm run build because we want to ensure that we push the build uh, build files and not development files okay brilliant that's all you have to do okay perfect so I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and I'm gonna see you in the next video thank you very much